What's up, loser gang? Today, I'm going to be breaking down the Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways launch trailer. Separate Ways is finally upon us, guys, releasing September 21st, and I'm going to break down some Easter eggs that you may have missed within this trailer. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we start off with a cutscene with Luis and Ada. We both know they've been working together. It was like that in the OG as well, and this probably takes place after the cabin raid initially. Ada has Luis in gunpoint, so I wonder what that could pertain to particularly. We see Ada using her new and improved grappling hook from the original i've seen with capcom that you can use the grappling hook just naturally all the time now which you can channel in your inner spider-man with that so that seems pretty cool and in this cutscene we get to see the left hand of salazar's henchman the other side of verdugo i'm assuming he's probably going to be a stalker because i heard through the rumor mill before resident Evil 4 the remake dropped that verdugo was going to be a stalker in the castle so maybe he's a stalker in ada wong's dlc we see ada wong dispatching of some of the castle henchmen with Luis. this cutscene seems very interesting because it seems like Luis wants to protect Ada from something. I assume this is going to be the first time Ada runs into Verdugo. You see Ada using her cool grapple hook ability, and now you see her using the crossbow, the explosive crossbow. And we get this first shot of Wesker from behind. Now, if you notice in the map that he's looking at, Africa is kind of in the center. I know this game takes place in Spain, so he's probably looking at like Ada's location in Europe, but it's interesting that Africa could be an Easter egg within this cutscene to show where his next location will be. Now, I've never really seen this side of the village i don't know where this could take place but this is definitely during the day probably on the outskirts while leon got through his own village raid as well or maybe this is ada's journey to the clock tower the bell tower that triggers after a while after the first village raid maybe this is ada's journey to activate the bell this is the little elevated section that was in the original although leon and ashley were on it this time ada's going to be using it and this looks like the military island you see ada fighting garador dispatching a couple of knights she looks like she has a special grab grappling hook finisher which can grapple and kick enemies and now this is interesting fellas because it looks like ada is also infected which makes me wonder what's the timeline of her getting the cure in the first place too because when she runs into sadler at the end and she shoots him to save leon she seems perfectly fine and now we get another look at verdugo who seems to be evolving a special arm now guys i have a running theory that verdugo is going to be u3 only because u3 wasn't in the original and plus with some of the rumors before the original game dropped people did say u3 was going to be in it verdugo is also going to be an evolved u3 that chases ada all the way to the military island because as you can see he's evolving a special arm as we can see in this cutscene something is on fire and i have no clue what it could be but luis looks very distressed as ada tries to save him from that so i'm wondering if it was another lab that luis at least needed to get to we see another boss fight with ada fighting el gigante this looks like the village square and it's raining so it definitely takes place before or after the cabin fight this might be one of the alternate paths you got to pick or choose in the original between the Chainsaw Sisters and the El Gigante path. And knowing in a remake, Leon had to fight the Chainsaw Sisters. This is probably the other path that you have to take where Ada now fights El Gigante. And now we have the infamous laser room. So that means that Capcom kept their word that most of what was in the original is still in the remake. It's just repurposed for each character. So I can see the DLC being like a B scenario and Ada and Leon being like Leon and Claire from the RE2 remake. It seems like Ada is in a comms facility as seen by the control room map on her right. And it looks like she's hacking the database to probably find out where the lab is. Or at least to steal data for Wesker. We see Ada on the jet ski. This is probably Ada going to get the rocket for Leon using her grappling hook. So this is probably like the OG where you had to find the special rocket for Leon. But then we also see Louise handing her a sample of the amber. So this makes me wonder how did it get lost in between? Because didn't Leon have this towards the end of the game? We also see Ada fully infected having an infected nightmare in which looks like Military Island. So maybe she got infected in Military Island. We also see her in the amber nest and fighting the infected Verdugo with a longer arm than usual. But we also see a quick glimpse of Ashley, which could possibly hint that Ashley and Ada interact with each other and Ada might assist Ashley in healing Leon with that big machine. And that also could mean that Ada fully gets cured as well. I would love to see an interaction between Ashley and Ada though, but we also get to see this. Now, this is nothing really. This is a glimpse of nothing, but I strongly feel like this could be the actual 
U3 fight. It could be an infected Verdugo fully evolved to the U3 form because from this environment, it looks like the falling platforms from the RE4 military island. I 100% believe that because it also has the giant hand at U3 sports. This could be big fellas. This U3 fight is so iconic in the game. And a final showdown with her and Sadler, which is like kind of like the OG where they have a boss fight. But then at the end, we get a glimpse of something. Her and Wesker have a standoff from what it looks like. Now, I personally don't know where this takes place. You know, the military island got blown up. So this could be when she meets him for the Amber. And this also makes me wonder why Wesker's even using a gun. Isn't he like a meta human? But maybe there could be an alternate boss fight involving Wesker, where he does get away with the Amber, which leads to the events of Resident Evil 5. But anyways, guys, that's the full breakdown of all the little things I've noticed and the little details you probably missed. That being said, comment down below what other things you might have noticed that I missed out too. All right, fellas, I'll talk to y'all later. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Hey, if you wanted to see this video earlier, the vibe of the actual challenge, seeing the process of me editing it, including some of the art I put into the videos, then become a YouTube member today. It ranges from one to ten dollars a month, and each tier gives you cool perks the more you pay. And to make it better, I pledge to give half of my earnings from members to charity. All right, losers, have a good one.